Hi guys, um, today I wanted to talk to you about where you're positioned at the poker table when you're playing poker. Now, where you're actually positioned at the table is actually extremely important. Um, you know, this is this is where new players who, who, who come to the game uh, suffer, and this is where our experienced players uh, prosper, to be honest. Now, understanding position is, as again, is what separates good players from the fish, uh, from the suckers out there. So, um, positioning is simply where you sit in relation to the button or the dealer. Okay, so when you're positioned on the button, um, it's in the opinion of, of many players, including my own, that um, this is the best position on the table because you get to see, um, you know, you get to see what everyone else does before you have to actually do anything, before you have to make a decision. Now, to be a great player. You must understand that there is good positioning and also bad positioning at the poker table. Now, the dealer position is, is extremely valuable to the fact, as I said before, you have the opportunity to see how many players are still in on the hand and also how strongly they feel about their hand as well. Now, early betting positions are always subject to being raised by other players, so um, you have to take advantage of being the button when you do get there. Um, obviously, when you do have a good hand, of course. So. Um, now you, you can also even have an advantage if you're immediately before the button and the person on the on the button folds. Okay, so a huge advantage if they fold before the flop. Okay, um, in essence you're actually now on the button, so that's a pretty good thing, you know. So uh, one thing to keep keep in mind. Now when you're in the positions, in the blind positions, small blind, big blind, uh, the potential of your hand unfortunately does drop quite a lot. Now the reason for this is because in these positions, you, you actually end up uh, calling or betting with hands that are actually much weaker than you normally would have played in if you were actually in that in that um, in in the uh, later positions like the button. Now also players who act after you are in better positions to outplay you. That just makes that makes perfect sense because they get to, they, they know what or they've got an idea of hopefully of what you've got. So when you're in an early position, you do need to play fairly tight. Playing borderline hands will actually just basically lose your money in the long run. Okay. On top of that, though, don't be afraid to see a free flop or a flop for a very, very minimal cost, but we're willing to get rid of your cards if you don't get them. Okay, Basically, the bottom line is stop chasing for cards. Okay, If you don't get them, don't worry about it. Now, many poker tournaments that I've seen have been won by, by, by people who basically understand how to make the most out of the blind positions. How they make the most... Um, how, how, well, they just really know table position very, very well. Now, consider that you play in a blind position. Okay, whether it be small blind, big blind, and um, the blinds are what you call an early position, right? So you're playing in a tournament, you're in a blind position, and you have no feedback from the other players as to what type of hand uh, you think they have, and how much they're willing, you know, they're willing to wager on the hands. Unless you start out with extremely strong hole cards, again, you need to be very, very conservative and and check your hand. Okay, there's no point for you to go all in unless you've got maybe you know. Um, pair of aces or something like that. <laughs> uh, that's when you you, know, you might want to start to get aggressive. Now, often I see those in big and small blind positions take a gamble um, on their hand based upon the idea that they already have half the ante in the pot. And so, not what gamble? Why not gamble or call the other the other half? Well, reason why you don't want to do this because it's actually it's a gamble and 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 foolish, um, especially when the blind stakes are high. Those who can resist the temptation. Um, are those who can end up saving a lot of chips when they actually do have a hand that they need to use them on. Okay, so remember, good players win with a solid game plan. They don't rely on luck or, ch or chance. Okay, so when it comes to table position, um, small blind, big blind, early early positions like that, you want to play relatively conservatively, um, and then obviously you can start loosening up as you as you get towards those later positions in the table. But um, I hope you I hope you learn a little bit more about uh, table position, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.